Hey, what's up, Sally here. Welcome back. Um, it is Thursday, um, June 22nd, 2023. Uh, we're looking at the ES uh, September contract. And uh, looking up here on the left on the daily, um, this is our candle for today. So um, we kind of opened up, traded down. We just kind of took out the uh, this bottom candle here. So this low comes in at 43.93.75 and the low today was 43.93 so it just uh, took it by point, point 0.75 um, I was honestly looking for it to come down and trade into this daily fair value gap so um, we'll kind of see what happens here I have this blue box up here we have our uh, we have a daily volume imbalance here so I'm kind of keeping an eye on that um, looking at the range here we came down and basically touched 50% we just kind of tapped into uh, into discount so we'll kind of see what tomorrow has for us but let's go ahead and uh, blow this up look at the four hour real quick let's hit reset here okay so four hour chart like I said we have our daily here um, I was basically uh, kind of bearish going into the into the end of the day. I was looking for a, uh, a quick scalp, but overall, like I said, I'm I'm kind of really in between here because you know if we were to stay stay below this swing low, I was looking to uh, actually like stay bearish. But we had a nice a nice reaction on on here, so I don't know if yesterday was the low of the week and we're just going to power back up through this volume imbalance here and kind of work toward that weekly opening price uh, we'll kind of see how uh, how we open how we open tomorrow but so we basically uh, traded down here let's go to the one hour and see a little bit more so like you see we just kind of tapped in this was right at seven so um, and then it kind of just kind of grinded uh, higher today. Let's go on the 15. So I had this one hour fair value gap noted and we had our opening range gap here. So coming into this morning, I had the London session high and the low noted. So we came up, we took out uh, some stops, reverse lower, and then just kind of grinded higher um, after we, we chopped in the uh, Looks like from about 10 to 1.30, it was just kind of kind of back and forth. Um, I wasn't, <coughs> per ICT, I was waiting to take a trade in the, um, in the uh, PM session. So I didn't really see anything that I liked um, coming around one-ish. Um, there wasn't anything for me really wanting to, to get in this, you know, we, we did have this buy side here that was taken. Um, looking at, I did have this noted here. So at, at the end of the day, we pushed up, we took out this level of buy side. The next would be up here into this daily volume imbalance if we wanted to keep going higher. But you can see we kind of rejected right here at the 50%. So if we leave this open, um, and I would say if we don't, if we don't, um, if these lows stay intact, you know I think we're gonna continue higher. But anyways, let's let's go down to one minute. So this is my trade idea for today. Um, this is basically what I was looking at right around three right before the macro. So coming in, we, we did have this target up here, but we hadn't taken any sell stops since one. So I was looking for just a, a reversal before we would go higher. So um, you can see this, this H1 Fair value gap, we kind of came up, rejected, we came up again, constant encroachment, came down, we took out sell side here from the morning. So anyone that was long from the morning, 
was taken out. So they probably trailed their stop up here, um, and then it kind of reversed up. So what I was looking at here is, let me go to the five minute, because I kind of liked how it looked. So this was basically my view. We got a low, high, took, took the stops. So if we had a candle close below this low, I was gonna enter with my target just at the swing low. Um, if we measure this, let's do our fib. This was right, right before the fifty uh, percent. So that was my target. I wasn't looking for it to come all the way down here. It was just to be a quick scalp. So this is my breaker right here. These two down close candles. We had the stop hunt. We had a candle close below, and I really liked this execution today. Um, even though that right after it took out sell side, it reversed up pretty hard to take out this buy side that I had noted here. Um, but if you look here, so one of the other reasons why I wanted to get on this, so I had this breaker marked and we have our, our shift here. We have a, a shift in market structure here with a fair value gap. And look how those wicks respected this, uh, this high of that fair value gap. So once I saw that, I was like, okay, I don't think it's, there aren't any other gaps for it to fill. There weren't any other fair value gaps up here this is the only one. There weren't any up here in this area. And this had filled. And then we had this one. So I basically entered at consequent encroachment of this and just so happened to be the bottom of this breaker. So for those wanting to see, right at 50%. So my entry was right at consequent encroachment of this. And then it rejected harder. Uh, so that's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, I think I initially had my stop right above this candle's high of this fair value gap here. And then once we moved down, it was a, only like a four minute trade. Once we um, took out this low, I moved it to right above this fair value gap. So, um, and you can see I still have my box here. So it was originally 2.75 handles of risk down to two. Um, and then my target was just five and a quarter. And again, I mean, this week, I, it, this, this week could have easily been a two win week um, with the trade on Tuesday, uh, but just, I think I got a little bit unlucky, um, but still had the same idea breaker with a fair value gap, which is a nice uh, setup. So, um, and then we had, we had already taken this target when I was trying to enter um, I could have entered right on this candle right away, but I wanted to wait and have it come up in here once more um, as I didn't want to enter in at a premium. And then you can see my fill was about halfway of this candle. Um, if I would have rushed in this, I may not have, I may have had the same, the same scenario as Tuesday where I just tried to go for the five handles and didn't get filled. But um, anyways, so once we took out this swing low, we still had lower targets. We had this, we had this target. We hadn't hit this yet, so I was still wanting to go in. If we had pushed down and taken this out and maybe traded to a, about halfway, um, I probably would have canceled my, my uh, trade idea on this one. But since we still had lower targets, um, this, was, this was my main target here was this M15 swing low. Let me show this to you guys. So this was the first, so we were basically right here in this candle when I entered, and this was my swing low that I was targeting, just the first one. There was, like I said, there was a fair value gap here and we weren't even 50%, um, but I wasn't gonna try and trade this. This looks like it maybe just hit the, uh, it, just before hitting the top of that. But anyways, um, that's kind of what I was looking at. Let's go back down to the one minute, see if there's anything else I wanna point out. Um, yeah, once I once I got in, it was a nice movement lower. Um, it was a, I think it was a four minute trade, but I got in at 326 and out at 330. So, uh, but overall pretty, uh, 
pretty happy with it and I wasn't trying to get greedy with going lower. I was just trying to get some low hanging fruit here. So um, let's go into the actual trade review. All right, so here we are um, just sitting down, sitting back down at the chart. Um, I kind of stepped away from two to three. So I was waiting for the end of the day macro. Um, I was kind of keeping an eye on it, but there wasn't anything that I wanted to try to get into during the two to three. So just kind of noting here, we, um, we had buy side taken there and just kind of measuring uh, where we at premium, where we're at premium to discount. So I noted this uh, M5 breaker here with that with the stop hunt. So I'm looking to go at that M M15 swing low. So that's just a that that quick trade idea of what I was looking at. So right here you can see price. It just um, it just had a break in market structure and it had a one minute for value gap there. So I like how that how that reacted. So I'm framing my trade right here. Um, you can see that it actually created another another fair value gap just where I put my entry. So that's the consequent encroachment of that of that fair value gap. So what I want to see here is I want to see it come come up and uh, tag me in. And I don't want it to to go higher than the uh, the halfway point of that breaker. So right at that last up close candle. If it closes above there, like if the if the one minute closes before there, I'll just cut the trade. So um, so right now we're just kind of waiting. So it's 3:24. I think we I think I enter right around uh, three 3:26. You can see the M5 candles on the bottom left. So we have a little bit of a a volume imbalance um, right now, and it's coming back up. Like I said, I just wanted to. It's I just wanted to tap into the consequent encroachment of this M1 for value gap, which I'll outline it here. So we are tagged in. I have my fib on the breaker just to show uh, if we do come up back into the breaker. Ideally, we wouldn't um, at this point, just because we've had. Two, two legs down. There we go. We're noting the M1 for value gap there. Just kind of moving over that to previous for value gap to get that out of the way. So noting that the that's the that's the sell side, the M15 swing low. So that's the most recent swing low that I showed previously. And I just have a 2.1 uh, risk to reward here. Like I said, I'm just looking for a quick scalp, five and a quarter handle. I have an easy target that's well within range. It's well within the 50% of, of this current range that we're in. And we get a nice push down and we're tagged out. And for some reason, it kind of took me, it signed me out of trade debate when that trade closed. But just grabbing my screenshots here for the journal and my log and my little thumbnail that I do. And uh, yeah, we will go into the um, account review. All right, here we are, top step dashboard. We're at uh, 643.08 out of the 3000. So I said on Tuesday, very close to having two two winning days um, back to back. So happy with both of the the uh, trades that I took today. I feel like I'm being a little bit more more selective, only trading during macro times. Um, so just trying to hone in on that. Um, I definitely enjoyed that break that I was on. Um, so here is the entry for today. So the 257.92, just one trade, four minutes long. Um, so hopefully we can kind of continue this streak here. Uh, I think we officially broke the losing streak. Let's see how many we had. One, two, three, four losing days in a row, which 
I think it was, yeah, no, let's do this, let's do this again. What did we have? We had two, four, six, seven losing trades in a row. Uh, so I finally broke that streak here. So uh, yeah, just kind of showing like, I think these losing streaks do happen. Um, you know, I'm definitely transparent with with you guys, uh, you know, taking you along on my journey. Um, if you guys want to um, give this a shot uh, with a with a top step, I do have a link in my in my uh, my description. Um, it'll give get you uh, I think fifty fifty dollars off your your uh, first month. So if you guys want to try it with TradingView, um, that's kind of one of the main main reasons why I use Top Step is that I can trade directly on TradingView, but they're, they've changed a lot of the rules and uh, they've really been, you know, responsive. So I haven't really had any issues with them. Um, they've, there were some issues with, uh, with a trade of eight, but that's all been, been resolved now. So here's our entry here for the 22nd. Entered at uh, 3, 326 ES short PM session. We had buy stops taken. We had a breaker, M1, the macro, fair value gap. I labeled this as an A setup, four minute. There was no drawdown. Let's go over to our calendar. So there's the loss from Tuesday and the win today. Here's the original screenshot that I took after we exited. So 6.4208 and Let's look at the economic calendar. So tomorrow we have PMI at 9.45. This is a, a tradable news event. So um, I'll definitely be looking uh, for a trade tomorrow, but we'll kind of see. It'll have to be during a macro time and everything will have to align. So uh, yeah, anyways, that'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll check back in on the next trade.